So, let's talk about bows, or specifically, let's talk about the video, Two Different Bow Builds, first. Two Different Bow Builds was meant to be my second Two Different Builds video. Evidently, it wasn't. The builds just weren't good, and I canceled the video in favor for one about sniper rifles. It's taken over four months to give this video another chance. So, how are the builds this time around? Well, I'm happy to report that they both work. That's important to note, because last time they kind of didn't. So, whatever. Let's just... Let's start with what are bows. That's kind of a dumb question. I mean, it's a piece of wood and some other bits of wood and some rope and such. And what you get, at least in payday, is a high damage single shot, mostly, weapon whose projectile falls out of the air over time. But should it hit, it's really gonna hurt. So with that out of the way, let's check out some, some builds using bows. For this first build, our core skills include Combat Doctor and Inspire Aced, basic all the armor stuff with Aced Die Hard. We got Steady Grip, Basic Lock and Load, Aced Optical Illusions, and Specialized Killing, Aced Low Blow, Insert Two Different Crit Builds, Plug Here, oh, and Aced Equilibrium, Gun Nut, Desperado, and One-Handed Talent. You could probably sacrifice something for Nine Lives Aced, but I personally didn't feel like I needed it in this build. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. My primary is the Light Crossbow, and I've given it Explosive Arrows. Not much to say on this regard, it does more damage than the Arbiter, but it's quicker on the whole, better DPS. Sure, I only get 50 bolts, but if it takes me more than 50 bolts for one mission, there's probably a problem, and also ammo bags exist. My secondary will be doing most, if not all, of the heavy lifting outside of crowds and shields. And I could have run a broomstick with the stock chopped off, or a parabellum. I don't know about you, I'm kind of sick of those guns. Now we need something a bit more old school, like in, in a meta sense. So that's why I ran the Deagle. Jungle Ninja Suppressor, a laser of your choice. I ran a pocket laser in this case. Blink Grip Extended Mag, Marksman Sights, and the Long Slide. 100 accuracy, great damage for what it's worth, 21 rounds. And if you're curious, the broomstick without the stock is actually more concealable by one. As is the Parabellum by a lot more. There's also the Castigo, 5-7, White Streak, lots of different options. I ran the Deagle kind of to prove a point that you can make this work with the Deagle and a lot of other weapons, but it's just, it was a nice change of pace is all. My melee is the Katana, incendiary grenades are my throwable, dock bag deployable, light ballistic vest, armor, and my perk deck is muscle. This might or might not have been a test of how well muscle works for a future muscle video, and with 91 armor and 414 health that regenerates over time, it worked pretty darn well. Get to cover in your health dips and play a bit more conservatively until you restore your health. The Deagle pops most heads in one shot, but for everything else, there's explosive arrows. Crits kind of help this build stay afloat. You're able to one shot most specials with a critical headshot. And I didn't go down on my test heist, and in this recording, I really only did poorly when I was out in the open, so don't go out in the open, which you could apply to any other payday build. I kinda wanna make more of these. That's some foreshadow. Oh, I did it again. I didn't finish writing the script now, did I? So for the second build, we've gotta start with the name. I dubbed this build Shinigami, after the Japanese deity that invites humans to their death which I felt was just far too fitting for a build like this. Let's start with our core skills. We got basic bullseye, aced extra lead, fully loaded, aced steady grip, and lock and load with basic surefire. We got aced shockproof, all the aced silencers, basic detection skills, and then we've aced nine lives, up you go, and swan song. My primary is the akimbo heathers, though anything you can cut down to 28 concealment would do provided you move lock and load, steady grip, and surefire around as needed. Might I suggest the Raven, Akimbo Castigos, or maybe the Cavity if you're not an Akimbo SMG fan. There's lots of options, play with them. Bigger and better suppressors, compact laser modules, speedable mags, and unfolded stocks on the heathers, and these things are good to go. Please note, I did grab Ace Akimbo. In my research, I found this to be a non-issue with burst firing provided I also played with our secondary a bit more. I don't really need the ammo boost, which I can get from fully loaded, and I didn't really feel like I needed the stability boost as long as I was making quick taps. As always, with these types of videos, feel free to adapt the skills however you see fit. This is what I made for the weapons I ran. But speaking of our secondary, say hello to the Avalanche Pistol Tactical 50 pound crossbow. Luckily, Payday's pistol crossbow lasts a bit longer than the few shots that you'd get out of the Avalanche pistol crossbow, though in-game it'll run you $349,000 rather than the 16 plus shipping this thing would have cost you on Amazon in real life. Wherever Gage is getting these things for $350,000, I'll never know. 
I've outfitted this thing with poison bolts, the carbon limbs, although you could use a skeletal limb, it's exactly the same, an ammo boost, and the camo grip. Now, to address the elephant in the room. As it currently stands, I've knocked the pistol crossbow from 350 damage down to 100. So what's up with poison bolts? Are they really that good? Well, let's talk about poison in Payday 2. <laughs> nice, it's like we're at a whole nother video. Anyways, poison in Payday 2 works a bit odd. It deals 250 damage every half a second for 6 seconds, save for on the kunai where it only gets one full second of poison. With that in mind, the bolt itself does 100, but the poison should deal roughly, if I'm calculating this right, 3000 damage over the course of its life. I might have done the math wrong, but the point is, poison effectively increases your damage tenfold. Did I use tenfold wrong? I don't know. But the point is, bottom line, each arrow will more or less eventually kill its target. Mind you, arrows were nerfed like three times between one down and now, and they're still like this sometimes. So, that's poison, it's a nightmare, but we're not done yet. Kunai for my melee, Molotov's my throwable, the damage over time of fire on a crowd is more useful to me than poisoning one guy at a time, ammo bags, the suit, and X presidents I was originally going to make this grinder, and you could still probably do that, I'm not going to stop you, but I want something with a boost to my passive dodge chance, and X prez has just that, plus the health boost. And this build, it's actually kind of scary. I fire my arrow at an enemy to mark them for death. They'll panic and twitch and vomit their guts out, but no matter how much they struggle, no matter how much they fight, no bearing on the determination to rage, rage against the dying of the light, the Shinigami has got them in their sight, and their soul is moving on now, a relief from their blight. Oh yeah, also this build's kind of freaking amazing. So, the Akimbo Heathers mostly exist to mow down crowds with short bursts, and they'll run out of ammo rather quick, that's fine. That's where the pistol crossbow comes into play. I can grab kill after kill, slowly but surely, pick up my ammo again, build up my ex president health buffer, and when the time is right, when I take damage, my movement speed increases, I get to cover, and all those sorry souls I'm helping reach Tengoku will become health that keeps me up and killing longer. The amount of play here is absolutely delicious, and I'm more than willing to accept the lackluster ammo on the heathers when it comes to a build like this. It's just, th this one's great. I stumbled upon magic here. Oops, I accidentally made this a pair of crit and dodge builds again. Oopsies. I promise I'll try to avoid that here coming up. I want to do more armor based videos. But for now, that's two different bow builds. Bows are highly versatile and the damage they deal is staggering. Absolutely amazing in every sense of the word, no matter you're blowing people up, poisoning them, or just shooting them in the face. And they're compact enough to warrant a dodge build, really. Don't get mad at me. Overkill made them this compact. Except for, you know. <coughs> well,. I hope the builds I showed off here crossed a need for high tension builds off your checklist and you're ready to bolt into a game and try them out. Crossbow joke, until next time, see you around. Hey, I'm sick making this video, like physically sick. So if it sounds weird, I didn't sound high energy, that's why. I feel like garbage. Patreon and social media links in the description.